Hi everyone, I'm Heidi Roro and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be recreating Anna from Frozen, so if you'd like to see how I created this very simple makeup look, then let's get started. First off, I'm prepping the skin with my Holy Grail Belief products, the Aqua Balm Mist, which quickly hydrates the skin, and the True Cream Aqua Balm, which is going to sink into my pores and give me an even base for my face products. Now that my face is hydrated, let's move on to the foundation. I'm using the Lancome Tonsi Dole Foundation Stick in 320 Bisque Warm. I'm just drawing some lines all over my face and this will cover up any hyperpigmentation spots that I have and give me an even surface. I also love using a kabuki brush to blend out stick foundations because it doesn't soak up the product like sponges would. Now I'm covering my dark circles and brightening up the center of my face with Tarte's Shape Tape in Light Neutral. I'm using that Aqua Balm Mist to wet my Flower Beauty sponge and I'm bouncing that sponge to distribute that concealer in the center of my face. I'm priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Enigma and I'm blending out that primer with the same sponge. Beauty Bakery has definitely been on my radar, so I picked up their translucent flower powder and I'm using that to set my entire face. I would say that Anna is more tan than Elsa, so I'm using the Hula Bronzer and instead of contouring my cheekbones like I usually would, I'm actually contouring my entire face so that it appears to be smaller. So I am adding this product around the entire face and going in with a smaller brush to contour my nose because Anna has a cute button nose and I'm also defining the tip of the nose as well. Similar to Elsa, Anna has very pigmented blush on her face, so I'm using the Morphe Blush Trio in Pop of Coral, and I'm using the first and third shade, and I'm dragging it out to the top of my cheekbones. Focus your blush heavily on the apples of your cheeks, and then drag it out. Take your time on this. I think it looks cuter when you have more blush on, and don't forget to add blush to the tip of your nose. Looking closely, Anna has way more freckles than Elsa, so I'm using two different eyebrow products and in two different shades. I'm using ColourPop's Brow Pencil in Honey Blonde and Dior's Powder Eyebrow Pencil in Brown. Really focus your freckles around your nose area and blend out your freckles with your fingers so that it looks natural. Anna's eye look is extremely simple. I'm just using cashmere from the Tartlet Toasted Palette and I'm diffusing that shadow in my crease area with a blending brush. Now I'm adding a cooler toned brown which is called Latte in the same area just to give me more dimension to my eyes. But other than that, her eyeshadow is very simple. Off camera, I'm going to tight line my upper and lower waterline with this pencil liner from Makeup Forever, and I'm going to apply mascara and wispy lashes. Ta-da! I'm removing the foundation off my lips and giving it a nice scrub before I apply this Pixi liquid lipstick in Really Rose. Last but not least, I'm setting my entire face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. All right, folks, wait one second. And the grand reveal. I gotta admit, this wig was really hard to put on, so don't mind my hair poking out. But I hope you guys liked this very simple makeup tutorial recreating Anna from Frozen. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment down below on what you like to see next, and please subscribe and join the family. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!